Hey, what's going on guys? GeothomeGRC.com. So today this was sent to us from Banggood, so I'll put the affiliate links down in the description below. So anyway, this is the SG1602. It's a 1 16th scale. It does come with the brushless system in it on this model here, which is a, the model or the uh, brushless motor is a 2435 3900 kV motor. Uh, the servo that comes with this is a 17 gram. And they say about the speeds on this is about 45 kilometers or 27 miles an hour. So we'll get a speed run of this here in the next few days for you guys to see how close it comes or it can achieve it, hopefully, uh, that 27 miles an hour. It does come with a 7.4 volt battery and it's a 1300 milliamps. There is another option for this. If you don't want the brushless one, you can get the brushed motor and it's a 13 or it's a 390 motor. So not too bad. Now, the, the remote it did come with this bubble wrap here and it was also in this little cardboard. So this was uh, right down below it. It was all nicely packed in there, zipped, zip tied in. So everything stayed nice and secure. So I think the packaging was actually really nice. So not too bad. Now when it comes to the radio itself, 2.4 gigahertz, all your little adjustments for your steering, as far as uh, adjusting your trim, what have you, your on and off switch, your little lights to let you guys know if it's on or off and three AA batteries. So I definitely dig that one. Not too bad at all. Two, now this does come with a wing. So the wing will be mounted to the rear here, obviously, right? So that's not bad at all. And uh, just have the little screws that are in the packaging as well. Now this comes with LEDs with it too, which is cool because those LEDs will go up into the front of the vehicle in the bumper itself. So I like that and a little extra little touch there. And does come with a wheelie bar, Phillips screwdriver to get you in, get everything installed. As far as the instruction manual, and they kind of give you all that little information in regards to how it all works, all that. Uh, the main thing is gonna be, it does have optional parts that are in it. So I'll get into that as well. So they have an optional part for the wheelie bar, which already comes with, which is kind of odd. But actual, uh, you know, as far as metal upgrades as well to this, uh, when it comes to the wheel shafts, and what have you. So that's cool. At least it has those options if you guys want to get that. Oil filled shocks. Unfortunately, this one does not come with oil filled shocks. So it is bouncy. And I don't believe these shocks will retain oil. So there's no O rings or anything that to keep that all in place. So uh, let's give this thing a little spin here, anyhow, so you guys can check it all out. I like it. Race truck. I did choose this color because there's a green one, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it still came with the orange wheels, which is like it needs to kind of flow together. So I like this one here with the orange since it did flow together. Now, uh, getting onto the rear here, these dog bones are metal. But the front ones, those axles are just plastic. But it is an upgraded part if you do, if you do want to go ahead and upgrade that as well. So if that becomes a, a part that seems to fail, then you know go ahead and upgrade to the steel ones anyhow or metal. But it is ball bearings that are in there, and I will say these tires, there's no foam in them on that part. So let's go ahead and get this body off of here so we can take a look at what's underneath it. It does have a little plastic film over it too, so if it's not so shiny, you just have to, you can see a little bit there, and you start to peel that right off of there. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that on there for, the, for right now. 3900 kV motor, sorry. A two-in-one electronic speed controller and receiver, and it does have ports there for LEDs obviously with the one that was provided. So pretty cool, not too bad. Now when it comes over to the other side of it, a little Velcro strap to get your battery out of there. And yeah, T-style connection that's on it. I will say this too, that this chassis is rigid. It does have, you can see, well, I don't know how much you'll be able to see because of the shadowing and everything like that, but it's honeycomb laid out in there. So it just gives it more rigidness. It's got a, a metal drive shaft in it as well. So I'm, I'm liking it. The plastic's on it. I will say as far as like this bumper is flexible enough, it's not like super soft and it's not really firm. It feel like it's gonna do the job pretty well. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna put the wing on real quick so you can see that and then we're pretty much gonna, we'll get a running video of this here in the next couple days. I'm hoping for Monday, so stay tuned for that one if it's not raining. I love the LEDs on this thing, it really looks good. And they're, they're, they are bright for sure. And I installed the wing, just two screws, two Phillips screws on there and it does come with the, the the tool to actually put it on, so that's nice on that. And then your wheelie bar. So you do have to remove this one to put the wheelie bar on there. Just four Phillips screws, take them off right there, slide the old one out, put the new one on there, and then you just have two little screws. You can kind of see it in there. There's two little screws that hold the other part of the wheelie bar in place. Easy to get to because you just put your screwdriver right down between the 
the, the wing itself and the body. And then let me show you as far as inside, as far as how I wired it all up. These are LEDs that go in there. You have to push firmly to get them through the, the front bumper. But once done, I just ran them through this little cross, or you know, as far as the mount for the body. Run it through there. And I just used one little zip tie there as well. And then I just plugged it into the receiver slash electronic speed controller. So yeah, not bad. Not a, you know, not a lot of torque off this motor, but we'll have to see how fast it goes. I'm expecting it to do at least 20, somewhere in that 20 mile an hour range. I think that should be achievable with that. Hopefully it should, uh, you know, say 27 miles an hour. So we'll see how close it gets. Anyway, uh, I hope to have a video of that in the next day or so. Again, it's because it's raining right now and I don't know what's gonna be the forecast for tomorrow. I think it's a chance of rain as well. So can't wait to get this thing out there, see how fast this thing goes, put the GPS on it, let it rip, and uh, give you my thoughts on it. Anyway, I'll put all the affiliate links down in the description below if you guys wanna grab one of these. And appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you again for watching.